Okay, let's begin. Today we are upgrading SciScope 2019.11 to 2020.05 in Windows. And let's see how smooth it goes. So there we have, we unzip the file and yep, upgrader.bat. And the upgrade will stop that. Uh, yes, 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 I would really like. Let's continue. Specified value was saved. So, so far we just double click the upgrade icon. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In my experience, sometimes your Sitecop server might have some issues in it that need to be addressed before the upgrade. But your way of finding out is actually by running the upgrade. All right, let's see how it behaves. So there's a Java location, everything's fine. I wonder what it was doing so far. And that's Java for you. Okay. So to keep ourselves entertained, let's look at the resource monitor while we... Yeah, not bad. Okay, so we see that it actually is doing something and memory, memory is not really high. Yeah, I think it's fine over here. Okay, so we're just using one gigabyte, that's fine. Okay, there we go. After a couple of minutes, something some suddenly something started moving over here. So, yeah. I actually noticed that uh, Linux side shop is getting gets installed super fast compared to Windows. I mean, it's like at least four times faster. Probably the way they render stuff is very different. So there we go. It deleted some registry values for whatever reason it is. You know, maybe yeah. With that Packard over here, it's not really a good idea anymore. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be changed to microfocus. About time. All right. So there we go. How are we doing on performance? CPU is also going all over the place. So it is doing something in the background. It's not as an as animate as the normal installation, which kind of shows you stuff. Well, let's give you some eye candy to look at, both in Linux or in Windows. But the upgrade itself is uneventful and it's like a surprise. <laughs> and then we will find out if it worked or not. If not, then you go back to your snapshot and try to fix stuff for the next attempt. So let's hope it's not one of those cases today. I mean, the OBM upgrade, I didn't even release a video about it because it was so uneventful. You just run a command, wait like 20, 30 minutes, and that's it. Upgraded, done. Nothing to do. Now that's how you upgrade the product. So yeah, let's hope that uh, Sitescope got the same treatment in this version. There is the Windows installer running in the background, so that's what occupies most of this CPU and memory. Oh, not memory CPU, definitely, no. Okay, and there is our installation wizard popping up. So it's been like 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe more. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got for us. Probably it's a normal installation. So I guess it just removes the old side scope, put some uh, configuration files on the side kind of an export and then let's you install a new one and just to import everything back. So I hope it wouldn't have a problem with the agent installed on the machine. Shouldn't, but never know. Yeah, we didn't have this step in the verification. So now we go ahead and install it and Details, what? Redistributed, okay. So it looks like 
I need to have this package installed, which is a little bit, well, it, and that's expected. I mean, that's not new. That's not new. Every new version has a new requirement. So let's see what Bing brings us. Probably we need to download it, download, yeah. Just hope it's all it needs. <laughs> Is there like a retry button? Select language, download, go for it. Mm, so it was looking for 32, but we're going to install them both. That's just in case. All right. Mm, always allow. Yes. Okay. Where's the installation? Come on. There we go. There we go. That's download number one. Okay. So we will run that one. I agree. Install. Another version of this product is installed. It's not that it cannot continue. Okay. Well, how about 64 bits? I agree. Install. So it says that there is another version already existing. So it was just initialization that failed us. Well, let's see how big of a problem that is. So we already have an issue. And we cannot install the new packages because there are existing ones. Oh, let's see how big of a problem that is. That's what that's uh, server 2012, eight years old. Probably it's R2. Let's verify. Come on, right click system. What do we have? R2. Yeah. Should be good enough. I mean, 2016 is better, but still. Okay, there it goes. So let's let it run. Okay, and several minutes later, there we have the wizard. Okay, port 8080 and enable HTTPS. So like to have the so what what am I doing now? That's port 8080, fantastic. So I want HTTPS and can I use the existing certificates if I want to? I don't even remember where they are. So that's our site scope. Is there like a site scope old or something? Site scope, site manual. So that's site scope. Um, uninstall tools, don't get, no. Okay, you know what? Yeah, of course. Of course. It's going to be 443. Okay, and according to the guide, we should not enable HTTPS. Then we just should press next and then use existing important configuration file. No, that uh, I like that. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let me just check the. I always read help files, guys. I, guys, I read help files. Please subscribe. <laughs> So I would read some more help files. And uh, yeah, so let's see, use this account for TLS. It says, well, basically click next, next, and now it imports everything. Mm -hmm. Not sure how fast or slow that part should be. So let's wait it out. Okay. Says importing configuration. So we get on with that. 
get on that go 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 mm -hmm. I just wonder where when this bar slows down at the ends or something is it part of the graphics or it's, it's really like doing something and uh, and it's just thinking really hard. Connect to the CPU graph over here. It does. Okay. Setcop is installed and everything should be fine. We click on finish. We open our vCenter for later use. And there is one warning. I'm not going to read it. I'll read it later if I want to, but what I'm interested in to know at the moment is uh, does it work okay so let's open a new tab over here okay oh internet explorer you're so fast so you're so fun okay now, well, that gives us enough time to actually bring it up okay i don't want an sm to be okay fantastic so Let's see, site scope, HTTPS. Let's see. Oh, and it cannot be displayed. Okay, so I found uh, a way around it. So basically, when you install your uh, site scope or upgrade your site scope, open your server XML like this. Just copy the whole thing as it is to a completely new file. Let's say this one. Okay, you just basically double click, open a new tab if you're using the same notepad software as me, or basically just save the contents of XML somewhere else, right? Then after the upgrade, uh, you select that you don't need any SSL because it kind of asks you for certificates that you don't have anyways and you don't really need because you already had them previously, so you shouldn't provide them. But once the upgrade is done, it creates a server XML with uh, this kind of content. Let's see, let's change the language. So this is the original one, I saved it as well. So what happened is it creates a uh, port 8080 configuration, this one. And when you try to log in, you, you will basically log in on 8080 and you want to harden your site scope back to what it was before. So basically 8080 is no good any longer. Well, what, what, what's up with that? But uh, when you try to uncomment or change your SSL, or you try to run the hardening tool, which asks you for the same passwords that you or the same certificate that you already have in your CA search file, okay? Uh, basically, you cannot cannot uncomment this and reboot your server and be done with it. It wouldn't work. This configuration is wrong. The normal one looks like this. Normal normal one looks like this. One second. So this is basically me taking the copy from the previous one. And you see, it's 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 very different. That's quite a lot of differences. And this is one of the main ones that ruin your uh, integrations. So this one is missing even in the previous version or the, when you install it from scratch. So basically, the best thing is to do is just copy your server XML file someplace else, override the new one that's created by the upgrade, and you are done with it. Now, there, there is another caveat there. Once it imports all of your settings, the admin password sets it gets set to zero, nothing. And uh, you cannot really log in with nothing. So you do admin and an empty password, and it doesn't work. So what you need to do, oh, come on, Internet Explorer, don't. OK, well, I opened another one. Come on. Oh God, I hate, I hate Internet Explorer. Just, just, just hate it. Ah! Internet Explorer. Okay, so this is another Linux, but what you need to do, you go to change your password. I think when it works. I just hate Internet Explorer. Okay, you click to change your password and you say admin old password equals to none. 
it kind of sets a flag that you must restart it, reset it, and then you put your old password here in the new one, confirm, and that's it. Your site scope is done, like we see here. Everything works. Everything was imported as it should be. I'm not sure what fails in my health. SSL certificates, expired certificates, but I'm not even sure which ones are expired. I, do I care really? I don't really care. That's fine. All right. And this is how you upgrade your site scope. So basically, I made a mistake in the beginning trusting the whole process from scratch. This is not Android or iOS upgrades, folks. This is enterprise software. So, yeah, lots of functionality, but the little things, the little things, yeah, they, uh, oh, they require some skill sets. You cannot just double click and be done with it. And hopefully they'll fix it next time. Anyways, so, and that's it. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one.